I am making a series of four videos. Each video will have a background referencing the individual publications and the individual uh, journalists or reporters or list thereof uh, as to each uh, libel and defamation case that I am seeking assistance in raising the filing fees so that they are filed within the statute of limitations. This particular video is in reference to Sinclair Incorporated, no relation to me whatsoever, also known as Sinclair Broadcasting Group, and Jackson Walker. Jackson Walker can be seen on the right of your screen. Mr. Walker published and distributed across Sinclair Broadcasting Group's entire television uh, station network an article in which he injected and used Elon Musk celebrity to draw viewers and readers claiming that Mr. Musk had actually commented and made reference to quote unquote uh, my criminal background. Unfortunately, Mr. Walker didn't do his research and Elon Musk did not post any such um, post. He commented on a post by the Crescentstein twins on X who are currently involved in uh, libel litigation with me in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of Texas. <clears throat> they are the ones that referred to a false publication in reference uh, to a criminal past that they took off the internet from 15 years ago. However, Mr. Walker went one step further. Mr. Walker actually uh, in the article that was distributed across the Sinclair Broadcast Group's network of television stations in more than 43 markets, uh, stated that uh, my incarcerations in my lifetime were the result of assault, um, possession of narcotics, and verbal abuse. Despite the fact that I have never been accused of, arrested for, charged with, or convicted of any assault, possession of narcotics or drugs, or verbal abuse. In fact, verbal abuse is not a criminal uh, charge anywhere that I know of, at least not in the United States. Sinclair Broadcast Group and Mr. Walker were given the opportunity to retract and admit that the statements in the article were false and they were published uh, with the knowledge that they were false. They chose not to do so. Bottom line is, is media outlets have gotten... Um, reckless and careless with what they publish and how they publish and they continue to do it because very few people hold them accountable i intend to hold them accountable uh, it's bad enough that you have enough of this going on on social media but to have actual publications and television stations and organizations that operate and provide news to in excess of 168 television stations across the country is just unreal and unacceptable. As the campaign states, 
The goal is $2,500. There are four complaints that still need to be filed um, by the end of August. The filing fee for each is $405. Um, in addition to the filing fees, there is an approximate $23 per defendant cost in serving them by mail with the required um, notice of suit and the request for waiver of service um, according to court rules. 